pleasant good day to all of you. Welcome to the Disciplines and Ideas in the Social Sciences class. I am Maria Donna T. Mejia, but you can call me Mom Donna. But before we begin our learning process, let us bow our head, close our eyes, and feel the presence of our Almighty God. Our Father in Heaven, we thank you for all the blessings. Come be with us today. Fill our hearts with love. Fill everybody with kindness and care. Fill our mind with learnings. Fill our lesson with fun and knowledge. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Learners, are you ready for a new journey of learning process? Where you can enhance your learning skills and discover a new knowledge and a base into a world of social sciences? Today, we will talk about the social sciences as a study of society. Here are our lesson objectives. First, define social sciences as the study of society. Second, distinguish social sciences and natural sciences and humanities. Let us move on in our discussion. Let's begin our topic. Let's look at this image. How do you assess this image? That is right! It is about the society. Society refers to people in general thought of us living together in organized communities with shared laws, traditions, and values. How does social sciences relate to society? What are the roles of social science in the society? The scientific study of organized human groups is relatively recent development, but a vast amount of information has been accumulated concerning the social life of human beings. This information has been used in building a system of knowledge called social sciences about the nature, growth, and functioning of human societies. But before we proceed, let us discuss how social sciences emerge as a study of society. The history of social sciences began in the roots of ancient philosophy. In ancient history, there was no difference between the mathematics, the study of history, poetry, or politics. Only with the development of mathematical proof did we gradually arise a perceived difference between scientific disciplines and others such as humanities or liberal arts. The Age of Enlightenment saw a revolution within the natural philosophy changing the basic frame by which individuals understood what was scientific. In some quarters, the accelerating trend of mathematical studies presume a reality independent of the observer and work on its rule. Social sciences came forth from the moral philosophy. At the time were influenced the age of revolution, such as the Industrial Revolution and the French Revolution. The social sciences developed from the sciences, or the systematic knowledge, basis or prescriptive practices relating to social improvement of a group of interacting entities. According to Stearns et al. in the period 1760, some effort was spent on the study of man and society. Hobbes divided, Locke's two treatises on government, Vicus' new science, and Montesquieu's spirit of laws were all published in this period. The revival of interest in social science occurred in the middle of 18th century. By the middle 18th century, capitalism had begun to outgrow its early state and gradually it became the dominant social economic system in Western and Northern Europe. In the second half of the 18th century, urbanization and population growth became accelerated and during this period slums, alcoholism, brutality of manners, etc. developed which were to become the targets of social reforms. In the other half of 18th century, 
In response to the above, there is a multiplication of works with the scientific character. August Comte, 1798 to 1853, invented the term sociology. He was the first to systematize and give a complete analysis of the principles of the positive character and social sciences. Montesquieu and Voltaire broke a new path for politics and history. According to Sturz et al., 19th century development, at the beginning of the 19th century, social science had attained in all leading European countries a firm and respectable position. In the 20th century, we can also observe recurrent occasions when proposals for generalized social science were made. The contribution of August Comte was accepted immediately. Emil Durkheim and the sociologists of the late century and early century were influenced by him. Karl Marx gave the first general theory of social. According to Stern's et al. 20th century development, if we examine the course of development of the social science disciplines, we find that they follow a pattern through which the older natural sciences also passed. At this stage, the social science has become institutionalized to a high degree. It has now become a subject of research. Lawrence A. Captain, in his article Social Sciences Today, states the social science as the science is a very young and there is confusion with regards to limits and boundaries. History moves to the humanities. Economics becomes mathematics. Anthropology and psychology align themselves with biology and the geography in the school with physical science. While in its initial period, it may have been the preoccupation of a group of semi-amateurs, philosophers, practical men in business and government, or gentleman of issue, it now has become a subject of research on the part of academic specialists. In the third and the most mature stage of discipline, the battles over method have subsided. The theoretical rivalries tend to be submerged in the effort to elaborate propositions, bridging the differences and contributing towards the further progress of the discipline. Learners, I know that you understand on how the social sciences emerge. And now, let us define the social sciences, natural sciences, and humanities. When we say social sciences, it is a branch of science devoted to the study of societies and relationship among individuals within those societies. Social sciences as those mental or cultural sciences which deal with the activities of individual as a member of the group. The third social sciences does embrace all those subjects which deal with the relationship of man to the society. However, the natural science is a major branch of science that deals with the description, prediction, and understanding of natural phenomena basically based on observational and empirical evidence. There are two branches of natural sciences. The first one is a life science or biological science. It studies the life in all its forms, past and present. This includes plants, animals, viruses and bacteria, single cell organisms, and even the cells. Physical science. It is the systematic study of the organic world, as distinct from the study of the organic world, which is the province of biological science. Under the physical science, it includes the physics, astronomy, chemistry, and earth science. And the last one is the humanities. It refers to the study the way in which the human experience is processed and documented. 
it also encompasses the field of philosophy, literature, religion, art, music, history, and language. Okay, I think you've learned a lot from our discussions. We will continue our journey to explore more knowledge. Let us discuss the similarities and differences of a social sciences and natural sciences as well as the social sciences and humanities. Learners, pay attention in the following discussion to develop your listening skills and prepare yourself in answering the given activities at the end of this lesson. The things in common in social sciences and natural sciences. Both sciences employ the scientific model to gain information. Both sciences use empirical and measured data, evidence that can be seen and discerned by the senses. Both sciences' theories can be tested to yield the theoretical statements and general position. The differences of social sciences and natural sciences. Social sciences arose 300 years later, deals with subject, it is spontaneous, unpredictable, and uncontrollable, as it is deals with human emotions and behavior. Experiential data typically involves alternative methods of observation and interaction with people within community. Social sciences also is an open system. Natural sciences started during the 16th and 17th century deals with object characterized by exactness, controlled variables, and predictability. Experimental data. The typical method of science is doing repetitive and conventional laboratory experiments. And lastly, closed system. Here are the things in common in humanities and social sciences. Both the humanities and social science are concerned with human aspects like law, politics, linguistics, economics, and psychology, as well as the human lives and nature. The differences of social sciences and humanities are the following. Social science, influenced by and developed after the French Revolution and Industrial Revolution. Social science deals with more scientific approach. It involves application of empirical rationale and objective methodology to present the facts. Humanities emerged in the 15th century. Humanities involved more of a scientific approach, deemed to be philosophical and concerned with heritage and question of what makes us human. It comprises the application of human interpretative method. In addition to our discussions, the following are the functions of social sciences and humanities. Social sciences to analyze, explain, and possibly predict and produce new knowledge of information. To generate and produce new knowledge or information. Humanities to better appreciate the meaning and purpose of human experience, both broadly in the nature of the human condition as well as within everyone. Now that you have finished our discussion, to determine what you have learned, answer the following activities. The first activity is entitled Activity 1, All About Us Venn Diagram. Complete the following Venn diagrams. Write your answer on a separate sheet of short bond paper. Below are examples for your references. Congratulations! You have such a creative mind. And now, 
since I know that you understand the concepts of social science and how it relates to your personal life, try to reflect and apply social science by answering the activity entitled Word Will. Here are the directions. Using only the letters in the word, write your answer on a separate sheet of bond paper and relate this word to your personal life. As a teenager, through a short essay, this activity will be rated based on these concepts. Good job! You made it again! But wait a minute! Let us deepen your understanding about our lesson by accomplishing the next activity. This is the time where you can sharpen your critical and logical skills. Here are the directions. Interpret the cartoon image showing the typical happenings in life of our frontliners while battling the COVID-19. Write your interpretations and thoughts on how these cartoons are related to social sciences. Write your answer on a separate sheet of bond paper. Excellent! It shows that you mastered our topic. But before we end our lesson, I will give you another activity which is considered as an assignment. Here are the directions. Write down 10 problems that you think needed attention in your society. In the opposite column, write down the things that you can do to help solving these problems. Do this on a separate sheet of bond paper. Once again, I am Mam Donna and I'm leaving you this quote. Social sciences is itself part of the social experience. It seeks to interpret and explain. By William Hardy McNeil. See you next time and have a blessed day to all of you. Bye!